Hi, everybody. Reese Davis with you, bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. As the players get in that final stretch, just about set to kick it off with some Big 12 action. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. Population 40,000 here in Stillwater, Oklahoma, but I can promise you there are more people than that in the stands for today's game. And now let's head down to the coin toss. It's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Oklahoma State lines up to kick this one off, and we're just about set to get underway. He's to the 20. He makes it out to maybe the 29-yard line. TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go. Brad, over the weeks, I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes, and when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. He's to the 40. He's at midfield. Brought down at the 38-yard line. So they pick up big yards on the option keeper. I thought he was going to break that one for a touchdown. You couldn't draw that up any better. First and ten. Let's see if they can build off that great run. outside for a nice game. The halfback option good for seven yards. That'll bring up second and three. He's at the 20. Gets out to around the 15. They go with the option and pick up the first down. Yeah, and that was a situation where the quarterback knew he could pick up the first down if he kept it himself. That's a good decision. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 15. Now he's scrambling. And they bring him down for a sack on the play. Coaches don't like it when their quarterback gets hit like that. Don't be surprised to see the old coach get on his lineman to protect the quarterback a little bit better. From the 15-yard line. Second down. Fires quick out to the receiver, and he can't make the grab. Johnson's intended to see the play. That makes it third and 11. Larry, Larry. Here we go. Quick shot to the open receiver, and he can't hang on to the ball. Super play to time the hit just right on what looked like a sure touchdown. He really laid some lumber there. So the kicking team is on the field. They'll try for three. TCU could take the lead with this field goal. He gets it up, and it is good. McGee has his kick team lined up, and he is set to kick this one off. Taken from the three-yard line. And down he goes at the 30. 
The quarterback leads the team out on the field for the first drive. And he's hit immediately. And it looks like there's an injury down there on the field. That makes it second and two. So it's second down and about two yards to go. around the 49-yard line. The reason why it's so crucial to be able to run effectively like this is it keeps the defense guessing. They have no idea whether you're passing or running, even if you need medium to long-range yards. Here they come. Fires out to his receiver. And they make the stop around the 48-yard line. There's a strike complete, and he's down. Let's see if they can keep the drive alive here. The senior makes the catch. He's taken down around the 29-yard line. Throws it in a hurry. They'll bring him down at the 17-yard line. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Quick throw, incomplete, one of his receiver. And this is the eighth play of the drive. The Cowboys wide receiver. We hope can make a comeback and get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. Strike to his receiver, no good. Oklahoma State's got a guy that statistically is leading the conference right now, and he has got the attention of everybody in the country, including the coordinators. Third down again. They'll spread the field here. Let's see what the defense does with a five wide outlook. And he's tackled at the 10. That pass play went for nearly enough to keep moving, but they're stopped just short. Boy, that's tough. That is always a tough pill to swallow. Having to leave the field, knowing how close you came to converting on third down. You got to get those. Oklahoma State can tie it up here with this kick. The kick is up, and it sails through the uprights. Let's check in with Reese Davis in the studio. Let's take a look at Lubbock. And for SMU, they put together four straight wins. And for Edward, he had a touchdown catch. The Mustangs get a W that's perfect to them. And we thank you, Reese Davis. Back to the action here. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He's to the 20. <laughs> He's taken down at the 32. I don't think either team has a clear advantage so far. Let's see if they can make some plays and get a little separation. He has some room. Good outside run there. Bradley picks up about seven yards there after getting the ball in the misdirection. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. And they'll get him in the backfield.
Gets it. He's in space. And he's taken down right around the 44-yard line. Brad, it's a, it's a first down. And, and first down. obviously, this offense right now is trying to maintain possession, trying to get some rhythm going. And for them to be able to pick up a big first down right here allows them to continue to try to get to the position that they ultimately want to get. And that's into the end zone. He's pushed out of bounds at the 41. That makes it first and 10. First and 10. Ball on the 41. Gets it out quickly. And he's shoved out of bounds around the 37-yard line. Bray gains about four yards there. Down he goes at the 17. So at the end of one, 3-3 three, three tie. Even first quarter as we head into quarter number two. He's going right. Looks to a receiver. Touchdown. And he tacks on the extra point. It was a seven-play, 68-yard drive, and they come away with a touchdown. Fred, I thought the offense did a really nice job of mixing up the play calling on that drive. I thought the defense was on its heels most of the drive because of the versatility of the offense. He's to the 20. Across the 30. Room around the corner. And they push him out right around the 32-yard line. So the offense will come out onto the field to take over once again. They got three points on their last drive, but with this kind of field position, they should be looking to get the ball into the end zone. Fires out to his wideout. He's tackled at the one. give up a sack here, but their quarterback just got hit and hit hard. If I'm an offensive coordinator, especially an offensive line coach, I'm getting a hold of my offensive line, making sure these guys are on the same page, and they've got to take more pride in taking care of their quarterback than that play right there. We've got second and goal. Ball on the seven. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Throws quick to the receiver, and it falls incomplete. Rogers intended to see more of the play. That makes it 30 and goal. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. So they go to the end. And they come away with six, Kirk. And Brad, I got to tell you, that's not an easy thing to do there. The defenses nowadays are so tough when you get inside the red zone. Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. And he adds the extra point. So a fourth play, 32-yard drive. And it's good for seven points. Kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Gates from the eight. Tackle at the 27 yard line. They've been like a couple of fighters feeling each other out so far. Let's see if they start to open it up a little bit more now.
run left side. Knocked out of bounds at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line. Second down. Steps up in the pocket and sacked. That's a loss of two yards on the play. Third down. From their own 26 yard line. Third down. Quick throw out to the receiver, incomplete. Parker awaiting the return. He makes it to the 48-yard line. This is the point in the game where you don't want to make any mistakes that give the other guys a reason to feel more confident going into halftime. Just throws this one away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 48-yard line. Quick pass, man open, and he dropped it. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. Made at the 39. Denman is back to receive. Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Throws right and caught by the fullback. Right down at the 37. First and ten, ball on the 37. Gets it out, he's met immediately. A four-yard loss. Well, that play was sort of out of sync from the start, but you have to also recognize that the defense made a great play. They read it from the get-go. From the 41-yard line, it's second down. Mike 36, Mike 36. And two, three, nine. Motion, motion, motion. And a quick throw, brought down at the 29-yard line. That's good for the game, that's good for us. That'll bring up 32. That's our right, our right. They come out in a five-wide set. sluggish there and they can do better than that Oklahoma State's going to use their first time out of the half here it's the ninth play of the drive and off to the right touchdown Oklahoma State That's a great job with some tough running right there. When you get close to the end zone, things get very tight, and it's tough to maneuver. And he 
he hits the PAT. Let's get an update now. Here's Reese Davis. Reese. Off we go to San Antonio. This game was so tight, every play seemed to be of the utmost importance. The Green Wave finish on top, 20 to 17. All right, thanks a lot, Reese. Atkinson has the ball set, and he looks ready to kick this one deep. And he's tackled at the 32-yard line. TCU's gotten the play out of their quarterback, and you expect that that was going to happen. But, I mean, what is happening here? Somebody else is going to have to come to the forefront, or this thing's going to be over. If you would have told me before the game that this quarterback would have played like this to the first quarter and a half or so, I would have thought this team would have been leading this game. But you're right. Something has got to happen where the, his teammates, the rest of this group, they've got to raise their game if they want to have any chance of winning this game. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. We've got a first and ten. Ball on the 50. Caught out in the open. Johnson picks up about four yards with a catch. That makes it second and six. TCU will take their second time out of the half. From the 46-yard line, second down. Fires that quickly, incomplete. scrambling and they make the stop around the 28 yard line under heavy pressure on the throw incomplete pass so it's second and ten ball on the 28. He is such a reliable target. You throw it anywhere near him, and this guy's going to get his hands on it and make a catch. It's the 11th play of the drive. The Horned Frogs wide receiver, we hope, can make a comeback, get back in this ball game. Went out with that injury a little bit earlier. He's scrambling. Decides to take it himself, and he's got it. Touchdown. Well, this quarterback has great instincts, but he showed his smarts here as well seeing that there was room to run for the touchdown instead of trying to force the pass. Here's the PAT to tie this thing up. He splits the uprights with the extra point. They line up to kick this one away. He'll return it from the one. And he's taken down at the 24.
You always want to go in the locker room with momentum. So as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. And they get nice yardage on that run. Landry gains around six yards on the run. Oklahoma State's going to have to use their second time out of the half. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Quick throw out to the receiver. He's to the 40. They'll bring him down at the 44-yard line. complete he's got space to work he's taken down around the 47 yard line so at the end of the half this game is all tied up at 17 glad to have you with us in the studio for the ea sports ncaa football 14 halftime show presented by nissan innovation that excites Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Ball security was a major theme coming into this game, and both offensive coordinators have to be thrilled with the fact that their offenses, first and foremost, did a good job of taking care of the ball. And you don't see it every game, that's for sure, that both teams don't have a turnover at the half, and you usually see those critical mistakes that set up a short field for you to take advantage of, and, and it's definitely nice. It's nice to be able to put in a plan all throughout the week and to be able to execute it and not to be able to make those big mistakes. Because coaches will tell you, it's those big mistakes that kill you. It's okay to be rushed in the pocket as a quarterback and then throw it to your mom in the third row. Don't throw it in harm's way. Both quarterbacks done a good job, and as a result, both teams with zero turnovers in the first half. Looking forward to seeing this second half. I think there's certainly a want for victory. A want and a need for victory. Some teams need this victory, Reese Davis. Want, need, got to go get it either way. Brad and Kirk are there to deliver. All right, guys, welcome back. Second half just about set to start, and we're dead even. And he'll return this one from the seven. And he just got drilled. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. He's under pressure. They'll make the sack. Boy, Brad, that was a big hit on the quarterback. It would be interested to see how he responds from this hit and whether or not he comes after his offensive lineman and challenges them to start playing a little bit better. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Quick throw. And he's tackled at about the 27-yard line. Scrambled, heading for the corner. He's to the 40. He's pushed out of bounds around the 43-yard line. Makes it out to about the 49. complete for about four yards and a first down. I think they were expecting a run on that play, Brad, and it allowed the quarterback to throw for just enough yards to get the first down. Throws to the receiver, incomplete. From the 45-yard line, second down. They'll line up with five wide receivers. 
Scrambling around, and they got him. They get to the quarterback and end that play before it even got started. This young man didn't even have a chance to make something happen. It's tough to find your receivers when the defense is in your face like that. And this play is number eight on the drive. I got one, I got one, I got one. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Black, go! And down he goes at about the 45. That's a game of one on the play. That'll make it fourth and ten. He's going to try to cough and corner this one. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter, and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Gets out to around the 32. Gain of 12 yards. That makes it first and 10. From their own 32-yard line. First down. He's tackled around the 42-yard line. That'll make it second and inches. Nice gain as he works the right side. That's a gain of five on the play. First down. It's first and ten. Ball on the 47. He steps out around the 48-yard line. That brings him second and five. Complete. Johnson was the intended receiver. It's third and five. Ball in the 48. Tackle immediately. Taken back three yards. Really, they just had nowhere to go after the catch. Awaits the snap. He's out to the 30. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Steps up in the pocket. Bumbo! And he's taken down at about the 33-yard line. And they're lucky to retain possession of the ball there. So that sack sets them back a little bit now. They're looking at second and 13. Watch 36. He's got it with room to run. Steps out of bounds. Right around the 36-yard line. That brings us third and ten. Roger, Roger. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Too little. Red two. Strong showing by the defense. You always like to get the other team's offense off the field as fast as you can. Quinn to punt. And 
down he goes to the 37 yard line. You don't want to squander any possessions, but maybe now's the right time to dip into your bag of tricks a little. Think about some gadget plays to catch the defense napping. Nice run up the middle. From their own 42-yard line, second down. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. Gain of seven yards. First down. Check tight right, tight right, tight right. Pull out there, check the out there. Red 85. Red 85. So with one quarter remaining, good game here. 17-17. We're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. They bring him down in the backfield. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 49. Decent run here, right side. And he's going to be sacked. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. Parker is back to receive. He gets hit out of bounds around the 22-yard line. And you know, it's basically like we're starting from zero here in a one-quarter game now. Every possession is vital. Throws it in a hurry. And they'll get him in the backfield. George tackles him for a loss at the 22-yard line. That'll bring up second and 11. Larry, Larry. Mike, 36. Mike, 36. Yeah. There's a strike complete. Tackle made at the 28. Sails it long. Incomplete. Man, I don't know if this quarterback misread the defense or just made a poor decision, but that wasn't a pass he should have thrown. Just under three to go in regulation. And he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. You've got to be aware that capitalizing on this drive is crucial. You want to take the pressure off you and put it on your opponent. He fights forward to around midfield. From the 50, it's second down. They give to the tailback, and he makes it out to about the 47-yard line. He 
gets out to about the 45-yard line. He gains a couple of yards on the carry. Oklahoma State's going to take their first time out of the half. They'll try to change the field position and especially not get it to the end zone. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. This is when things get a little prickly. You need your playmakers to really come through here. Zips it to the back. And they push him out at the 26. So it's second down now. They need about four yards to pick up the first. Less than two minutes in the fourth quarter. He's under some heat. Fires out to his wideout, and he hits him hard at the 43. He's got another one. Tackle around the 40-yard line. He's on the run. Slides down. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. He's going to try and scramble. And they got him. The defenders played the snap count perfectly. He found the path into the backfield and didn't let the quarterback get away. Third down now, and they need to get it down to the 30. after that stop here late in the fourth quarter. That could be the turning point. They pick up at the most four yards on the screenplay. So it's fourth down and the offense is still on the field. And they make the stop right around the 18-yard line. Oklahoma State will take their second time out of the half. And this is the eighth play of the drive. Gets out to around the nine. Hey, kill, kill, kill! Black five, black five! Check, check, check! Go four! Seven red! Throws to the receiver, and he's got it again. Brought down right around the six yard line. Morris picks up about three with that catch. And still, this gunslinger hasn't missed a receiver yet on this drive. And they're going to take a timeout here and let him think about it. And this is the 10th play of the drive. As expected, they'll call a timeout here and try to add a little pressure. And this field goal is for the game. A miss will mean overtime. The kick is away, and it sails through the uprights. They field the kick here at touchdown return is their only chance at victory. From the eight-yard line. And he's taken down at the 31. Really great game to watch. Both teams should be proud of their efforts in this one. 2017, Oklahoma State. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.